Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Respected students Our next topic of discussion is Strategic In this topic we will discuss what is planning What are different types of planning What is strategic planning Then we will discuss four key elements of strategic planning Then what is strategic planning process and what are steps in strategic planning when we will discuss this lecture then all of you will be able to explain the importance of strategic planning and explain different steps involved in developing a strategic first what is planning planning is deci is deciding in advance what to do what to do it, when to do it, and who to do it. It involves anticipating the future and consciously choosing the future course of action. According to Heyman, planning is the function that determines in advance what should be done. There are different types of planning. Most organizations of any size offer more than one product or service as a result, they cannot develop a single plan to cover all organization activities. They must develop plans for multiple levels. For this purpose, there are many types of plans and those different plans are carried out at different levels of organization. These plans are at organizational level. These plans are for focus and time period plans. In Organizational levels, the plans may be corporate, divisional, and functional. And if we see at the focus, then plans may be strategic, plans may be operational, plans may be tactic. And in the time period, the plans may be long range, medium range, and short range. In this diagram, you can see different types of plans. Plans may be strategic, plans may be tactical, the plans may be operational, and then the plans may be contingency plans. In the strategic plans, there may be mission, there will be objectives, and there will be strategies. And in the operational plans, there are two kinds of plans that is single use plans and standing plans. In single use plans, there are programs and budgets, and in standing plans, there are policies, procedures, and rules. Here you can see strategic plans, tactical plans, operational plans long-term and short-term plans, proactive plans and reactive plans, formal and informal plans, and stranding and single-use plans. Then the term, what is strategy? It is derived from the Greek word strategos, strategos or it will be strategos, which means general. The word strategy means the art of general. It is a course of action through which an organization tries to relate itself with its, with its environment to develop certain advantages which help in achieving its objective. Strategy relates the firm to its environment, particularly the external environment. In the strategic planning sets the long-term directions of the organization in which it wants to produce, proceed in future. It focuses on the broad future of the organization, incorporating both external information gathered by analyzing the company's competitive environment and the firm's internal resources. Managers determine the scope of the business to achieve the long-term objects. In the strategic planning, it involves the analysis of various environmental factors and the competition. It involves most strategic plans focus on how to achieve goals 
three to five years into the future, it has the potential to impact dramatically both positively and negatively on the survival and success of the organization, then typically three to five years of horizon, top management is involved in framing the strategic plan. There are four key elements. Number one, vision. Number two, mission. Number ten, values. And number four, stories. There is a cycle for strategic planning. This cycle involves very first propose goals, then examine internal issues. In this cycle, the next step is examine external issues. After examination of internal and external issues, then summary is prepared for the SWOT analysis. Then strategies are formulated. At the last, mission is proposed. The strategy is the sum of determining the purpose or mission and the basic long-term objectives of an enterprise and the adoption of courses of action and allocation of resources necessary to achieve these aims. It covers several steps starting from the initial examination of the current state of the affairs through the preparation of a plan and down to the final checks on how the plan is affecting daily in the strategic planning process the strategic planning process has nine steps to make effective use of human and material resources of the organization for achieving the objectives of the organization the strategic planning process nine has steps. nine steps number one Water. planning awareness number two formulating goals number three analyzing the external environment number four analyzing the internal environment number five identifying strategic opportunities and threats number six performing gap analysis number seven developing alternative strategies number eight implementing strategy and number nine measuring and controlling the first step in the strategic planning process is planning awareness. These steps involve that strategic plan is to take stock of the existing situation and organization's current mission, its goal structure, strategy and performance, the values and expectations of the major stakeholders and power brokers of the organization and the environment in which the organization exists and operates. The second step is formulating the goals. The second step for management to develop a strategic plan is to spell out what an organization wants to achieve in the future. It means goals after planning the awareness, the goals are formulated in the strategic planning process. Then the third point is analyzing the external environment once the formulation of the organization goals is over means when goals have been formulated or completed then the next step is what may be the environment factor environmental factors the environmental factors might affect the management ability to accomplish them the economy the politics, the competitors, the customers, and even the weather are uncontrollable factors that can influence an organization's performance. And these factors, economy, politics, competitors, customers, and even weather, these are external factors. This is in comparison to internal factors. Now the next step is what is internal factors? The analysis of the internal environment or the organization resources from within identifies its present strength and weakness by examining its internal resources. 
the internal factors may be staff the internal factor may be company culture the internal factor may be process and finances which all seem within the grasp of the management the internal environment generally consists of those elements that exist within or inside the organization such as physical resources financial resources human resources information resources technological resources organization's goodwill corporate culture and like ones it means these are the internal factors that may cause the organization again i repeat the internal environment factors these are physical resources financial resources human resources information resources technological resources organization's goodwill and corporate culture then comes the swot analysis what is swot analysis it will be strength weaknesses opportunities and threats s for strengths w for weaknesses o for opportunities and t for threats swot analysis it is also a theory among the most useful tool for strategic planning is swot analysis this swot analysis consist of internal as well as an external environment of the organization these these are strength weakness opportunities threats what is what again i repeat strength weaknesses opportunities and threat now we go to fifth point in the strategic planning process this is identifying strategic opportunities and threats there are there we can say they identify their opportunities to achieve to achieve their goals on the one hand and the threats that could hamper and halt them both of these factors must be considered for effective strategic planning then the sixth step in the strategic planning is performing gap analysis gap analysis identifies the expected gaps between where managers want the organization to go and where it will go if they maintain the current strategy the seventh step in the strategic planning process is developing alternative strategies at this step of the strategic planning process managers are faced with the question of whether a new strategy is required and if so what kind of strategy it will be now the managers have to decide what kind of strategy is required it will be a new strategy or it will be existing strategy it this is the decision of managers the eighth step this is implementing strategy good strategic plans may be it cannot fully utilize its potential unless it is implemented effectively at each level of the organization then the ninth point is measuring and controlling progress this is the last step in this step managers must evaluate the effectiveness of the strategy being pursued